Hmm. It says check resolution 1080p, which is not optimal. I just have my steps, you know. This how much up you know. Okay. Right. Let's get the intro going, shall we? Juggernaut Live! This is the main event of the evening! It's me! Okay, there we go. There's the intro over and done with. Hopefully you'll be able to hear me a little bit better now, just adjusting my mic. So, um, yeah, that should be a bit better. Okay, now last night I played one of the worst games ever. Um, Gears 5 though, nice. Yes. Yep, we're going to talk a bit about E3. Uh, one of the 2D platformers shown at E3 for the Microsoft booth was Ori and the Will of the Wisps. That looked really, really cool. Uh, really impressed with that. It looked awesome. Gears 5, I'm a big fan of the Gears series. So that looked right up my street as well. Quite pleased. Although Marcus Phoenix and JD, I, I barely recognised them at first. You know, they look so different to the previous versions of of their characters. Uh, it was was quite jarring, actually. But once you get the hang of that, once you're over it, I'm sure it will be absolutely fine and dandy. However, what is not fine and dandy is this of hot garbage I'm about to play. This is definitely going to be going on the worst PlayStation games list of all time. It's South Park. And it's shite. Yeah, Marcus had a shave and he, he looked a bit younger. <laughs> Funnily enough, he doesn't look that much older than his son now. And yet Kate looks exactly the same age. She's got good genes. But who's hyped for Halo Infinity? Or Infinite, or whatever they're going to call it. Go on, little South Park, go on, I hear myself time. Bring your friends and give it back. I must have without temptation. Content ID day or night, gonna get me content straight now. <clears throat> And that horror is South Park the game. <laughs> Gotta be Cartman, he's the best character. And I look like him. Um, I think X86 Coaxial is one of my work colleagues, but I'm not sure. I think it's Tom from work. He's a he's a little boy. He's a, he's a sweet boy though. 
but don't worry this is an open chat everybody can chat everyone can comment uh, we're talking about e3 and we're talking about crummy playstation games and awesome playstation games so so this is south park ladies and gentlemen this does not fall in the awesome playstation game category oh there's kenny don't you love that sound effect Okay, where we go? Oh, there's more turkeys. Gobble, gobble, motherfucker. There's our favourite Jew. Hey, it's Kyle. What do I think of Tanker? Yeah, Tanker's pretty good. Especially for an early game. Yeah, I quite like it. I haven't played it for a long time though, so um, it may have aged badly. I mean, this game has managed to surprise me in more ways than one. Not only is it terrible, but it's also aged terrifically as well. I might kick you guys some breakfast. Oh, it's a bunny rabbit. It's one of the uh, Woodland Critter Friends things. Can't hit him, though. Now what? Gotta get some more of these gobble gobblers. Anyone else want some? Any more of you gobbledygooks? I have a difficult time getting into work in OpenMU because of some memory card thing. South Park looks kind of cool. Yeah, it's kind of cool for a few minutes and then all of the catchphrases and stuff wear off and then you meet these turkeys. I'm not talking much because who would want to talk over the majesty of the sound effects in this game? It's it's a masterpiece in in oral delights. Listen to that sound. I've forgotten which way I've got to go now. Do I go up the hill? Do I go around? I can't even remember. I just follow the arrow then. I 
follow this arrow. Uh, I'm playing just for recording footage. So. I'm trying to have fun at the same time, of course. There's, there'd be no point if I wasn't having fun. But this is to make a, a top 100 PlayStation games list. And of course, a worst PlayStation games list. So I thought, why not stream it at the same time? Record the footage. I've got to play the games to record the footage anyway. I might as well stream it. Whoa! Too many, too many turkeys. Wow. Uh oh, dead end. Right, the door is open. Uh, how much on scene? Well, in the video, these these games are probably going to be shown for less than a minute each, so there will be quite a lot of unseen on the stream. Some games I'll play for a few minutes, some someone might play for longer. Yeah, I can have it. I want to at least get through a couple of levels just to to show some variation on the videos, you know. Okay. I'm sure there was a way to have an alt fire. How do I do alt fire? Because you could have a yellow snow, I'm pretty sure of it. Okay, well that's the first level over. I can now play Cheatin's Bad, okay? <laughs> Mr. Mikey, okay? This game is bad, okay? Okay, so Operation Turkey Butt. Love that loading time. So first things first, I gotta get the other South Park characters. Yeah. Let's go to Chef's Love Shack. So the arrow on the compass has no bearing to the actual direction that I need to go, just to where the actual goal is eventually. So I, I've got to be counterintuitive and just follow the arrows on the map rather than on my compass. No, oh, uh oh, that's not good. There's the turkey boat.
Yeah, Alien Resurrection will probably be on the list. See, I've got I've got an idea about I've around 300 games, 400 games. Um, but of course, that's based on my memory. That's not based on playing them recently. So when I go back and play them, there are some games like Thrash, Escape, and Destroy, which I thought were were awesome, or at least I remembered them being awesome. However, going back to play them again, mm, not so much. So that's why I got about 400 games on the list to, for the top list, and I'll narrow that down to about 100. But of course, I'm always open to suggestions. Maybe there's games I missed. Maybe there's uh, other titles. Okay. Back up the hill we go, through the door. As you can see, the level layouts are, are really enthralling and exciting. They all have their own unique personality. Like this one's snow, and the last one was snow, and the next level is snow, and the level after that. You just fight different enemies. Gobble, gobble, here comes trouble. And this isn't a dual analogue game, so... So you've got to use the shoulder buttons to aim up and down, which takes a bit of getting used to. Yeah, Alien Resurrection to me was extremely impressive. And it was one of the first games that kind of made the dual analog set up. It kind of made it a standard. Come here, you damn turkey. Shoot you in the ass. Blah, 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 indeed. So we'll just finish this level and then we will get well rid of this game. worry the next game's not going to be much better that will be South Park Rally and then all the South Park games are done we did South Park Chef's Love Shack yesterday we just need to finish this level and then uh, do the South Park Rally which is the least bad of the South Park games if I remember rightly again Okay, door open, but where is the door? Hello, Dolly boy. Right, so we're going this way. Now what? It's just taking me full circle. Yeah, went to the path. <clears throat> Do we go this way? Is it this way? Note the arrow says I'm going the wrong way. Okay. There's no run button either. This is as fast as it goes. So what am I missing? Let's just walk this way. Eh, let it. It's hard to believe that this runs on the same engine that Chorok did. But apparently that's what we're running on. Or possibly the Armarine's engine. No, 
Oh, you son of a... Uh, do I have a favourite genre of game? I'm, well, now... Now I like first-person shooters, but... Back here, back in these days... I like fighting games. I like them a lot. I haven't quite perfected the FPS genre yet. Um, there are a couple of really, really good ones, but... A lot of misses as well. The fighting games, man. There were so many good fighting games. And Tekken. Uh, available at the same time, so... Um, yeah, yeah, I really like my fighting games. I also like my shooters as well. Shoot 'em ups Oh, for fuck... Oh. You know what? Screw this game. I'm done. Right, that's that's terrible. I, I've had enough of that. Right, so let's go on to... I need to go on to a different emulator to run it, but... Let's get rid of the other South Park game. And then we're just about ready to play something decent. So, let's get rid of South Park Rally next. It's Far Cry 5 worth getting a PS4 for. I don't know, I've not played uh, Far Cry 5. I kind of lost touch with the series. Um, didn't like Far Cry 2. I liked Far Cry 3, but I haven't played Far Cry Prime or Far Cry 4 or Far Cry 5. So yeah, I'm, I'm not the best guy to ask that one for. It certainly looked good though. The trailers looked interesting. Another content ID everywhere. Oh bollocks, we better skip it. <coughs> We try with a new memory card. No. So we've got a fair few characters from the South Park universe here. That's coming right for us. But again, it's got to be the car, man, right? I mean, it's a car racing game, and he's got car in his name. There's no other choice. There's no other choice. Now, for some reason... I don't know why, but the chat isn't showing up on stream. I wonder why that is. So, um, a couple of guys who might be watching the stream, you may not be wondering, or may be wondering, why your chat isn't showing up. Okay, hopefully that should do it. So now you should be able to see your chats come up on, uh, on the stream. I don't know why that didn't work before, but... But it's just in time to watch this amazing game. Taco, taco, burrito, burrito. Oh, I'm sure they do, Al. I'm sure they do. Sweet. Look at that control as I go around the corner. Look at this graphics. They really bring the Tanner South Park to shite. Playing Fortnite at the moment while watching. Yeah. Well, may you forever get a royale. I haven't played Fortnite in a while, to be honest. I keep meaning to, but making this video is kind of taking up all my free time at the moment. So I haven't played Fortnite in about oh, five weeks, six weeks. I got the season pass and I've not touched it. I haven't even unlocked Orange Justice yet. That's how little I've played. I want to check out the, uh, I want to check out the mine, not the mine cart, the, uh, the shopping cart. That could be fun. Uh, 
it's Saddam Vision. Well, it did its job, it's throwing me off. Wonderful power ups there. Can't hang me. How many of you would believe if I told you I was an AI? Fortnite seems to be the new colourful Counter Strike. Fortnite's fun, don't get me wrong. But the Battle Royale genre is just going to become a new game mode. It's not going to be a genre on its own. It's just going to be become a new game mode all over again. It used to be called Last Man Standing, and it was in most deathmatch games, but then it kind of went away for a while, and now it's back as Royale mode. Much like Horde mode became Survival mode, and it's in every game, Royale is going to be the next one. It's going to be everywhere. I mean, it's already in Call of Duty, it's already in Battlefield. It's going to be in the new Halo, I know. It's probably going to be in the new Gears. More than likely, anyway. I'd be shocked if it's not in Halo, though. Well, I have herpes on my screen, which is quite apt, really, because this game is about as much fun as gaining herpes. And that didn't even count as hitting the checkpoint. So I've got to turn around. Man, does this game blow. I think that's enough of that. I think that demonstrates how utterly shite that game is. So uh, let's move on to the good stuff, shall we? Let's get the good stuff going. Speaking of good stuff, did you guys see the Cyberpunk uh, announcement at E3 and Microsoft's conference? Oh, that looks good. Oh, I can't wait for that. That's going to be awesome. Okay. Right. This game, I tried to play it on a different emulator earlier on uh, the other day. Didn't work. I found out that the emulator I was using that I thought was the best one was shit. Um, but... Now I'm on a decent emulator, so. Have I seen Google Duplex? No, I haven't. What's Google Duplex? Let me see. Oh, it's an AI system. Okay. Yeah, Microsoft are working on some new AI stuff too. select my car. Cool choice. Automatic or manual? Well, automatic, of course. I'm playing this to look good. It's fairly impressive in booking times for haircuts. <laughs> yeah, it's all going cloud. Here we go. My car with pie on it. My favourite kind of car. Okay, we have no audio, but that doesn't matter. We have gameplay. It even says, mm hmm, while the hairdresser is looking for times. Okay. Now, did you realize that I'm an AI? That's amazing individual, by the way. I'm <laughs> oh, let's view it from the puke camera we've got a road cam 
Oof. Oh, that swing. Can't mean a thing if you ain't got that swing. This is very, very heavy. You gotta swing this bad boy around corners. Near the five are AIs, five of us, probably. Oh, that's spinning out. This is going to take some getting used to. I don't remember it being this heavy, but I do remember it being like a, a somewhat of an alternative to Daytona for the PlayStation. Um, playing it now. That's more due to the, the GUI more than the game. The game's very much a Ridge Racer style game where you swing around the corners. I'm going to have another go at that. Because right now it's not handling how I remember it handling, so uh, it's going to take a bit of getting used to. swing uh, I'm getting rammed off the road very aggressive AI it's a very colourful racing game you don't see colours like this in racing very often. God, but I can't get the handling right. I keep swinging out so much. Yep, still can't get the swing right. I need some practice on this one. Yeah. That crazy hot scale's a myth. I didn't I didn't marry hot, but she's still crazy. Still married way above my league, though. <laughs> oh, 
she used to be a model a uh, little while ago well a long while ago we've been married about 10 years so nearly 10 years she was a model before I met her fourth place but you know time has passed kids have been born we've got three children now so can't expect to look young and beautiful forever or at least that's what I keep telling myself when I look in the mirror I'm not young or beautiful and when I was young I wasn't beautiful but that is burning road I have a burning desire to play that a bit more off camera, get a bit of practice in, make myself look a bit more skillful at that game because that's really hard to get used to the, uh, the handling on that. But I really enjoy that game. I've, I've always liked Burning Road. It's always been kind of an unsung hero. Not many people know about it, but those that do sing its praises. So let's see what else we've got. Show me what you got. Okay. Let's see what we're going to play next. Any requests right now for games? You name it. If we haven't played it already, we can do so. a game that takes a little bit of time to get warmed up on though and we have to use the other MU right okay just bear with me a sec so we might be playing this for a little while because if I remember rightly the preamble takes about half an hour um, but we can play it it's got to be recorded anyway because I really remember it as being a great game so uh, let's get it done shall we Of course, Argonaut made some great games back in the day. They really did. They were really good pioneers of 3D tech, all the way from Starwing, their Amiga work, so on and so forth. Pretty solid. And this is another solid game, if my memory serves me correctly. So, of course, this follows the story of the fourth film in the Alien series quite closely, in fact. So, Alien, uh, Ellen Ripley uh, died in Alien 3. She had a chest burster inside of her and she she threw herself into the furnace while holding the chest burster however between alien 3 and 4 they recloned her from dna um and they extracted the alien from her after multiple attempts because they wanted the alien as a weapon however not all of the experiments went according to plan not all of the clones survived properly um they had their own unique traits like, for example, the Ellen Ripley in the movie had acid for blood. This game is best played in the dark. Now, if I remember rightly, this game also supported the mouse, which was quite forward thinking. Very few games supported the mouse. Um, 
And also it appears that my uh, my video is slightly off kilter. So we want controller config. So we want look and turn here, move and strafe here. Yeah, it seems like controller config one is what I'm after. Let's play. In a moment, I've just got a. I hear a bell ringing. So as this is going through, I'm just going to go sort out something. I'll be right back. I think my washing's done, so I'm just going to put it in a basket, get things sorted, and I will be right back. So in the meantime, after this cutscene ends, I will play an ad for some of you, and for the rest of you, you're just going to get to see this lovely video for a moment, okay? So I'll be right back. Okay, I have returned. Let's get this going. Right, I've got inverted, so I want to turn that off. Okay, here we go. I need to pick up a key. There's my key. Right next to the dead guy. I like inverted games when I'm flying, but that's about it. Gotta watch out. These things will kill ya. can't make it down there it's not safe so I'm just gonna go down here okay built up some health such atmosphere in this game for a PS1 title really really well done as I say the preamble is a little slow but it's worth it. So now I've got a flashlight that lights up the dark areas for me. I'll take that gun, thanks. No? No gun for me? Ah. You're so mean. More med kit and a save point. So we'll save here because we're gonna meet our first enemy that we have to fight soon enough, if I remember rightly. So rather than do that walkabout, we'll just save there just in case something happens. I see dead people. 
very dead people, with blood dripping from the ceiling. Always my favourite ambiance setting. Now this game came out in 2001. It's one of the later PlayStation games. That's why, uh, that's why probably it's not that well known. In fact, the first time I played this, I played this on the, the PS2 via backward compatibility. I didn't play it originally on the PS1. But there's my gun. Yeah, this came out after the Dreamcast had come out. And they were going to release this on Dreamcast, and I'm so heartbroken that it never, never appeared. Because this would have been fantastic on DC. Pick up some ammo. Save our game again. Um, we're off. Dun 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 dun. Hey, baby, can I slug my key in your slot? Baddies. Low on ammo though. Uh oh, set off an alarm. Time to go. You're dead, buddy. You're dead too. No, I'm dead because I'm out of ammo. Let's turn that annoying alarm off, shall we? Okay, so this looks clear. What am I missing? Oh, the great big fucking door, that's what I'm missing. Idiot. Alien, come out to play, yay! They don't look quite so menacing as I remember them being. Especially in the light. But that acid still can screw you up, boy. Gotta watch the acid puddles. And there's a hole down there. Something beeping over here. Uh, computer panels. A doorway. Oh, jinkies. There's a few of them in here. Come on, didn't you see the giant xenomorph? Shouldn't we be, like, focusing on that rather than trying to kick my ass? Yeah, work tomorrow, Dally boy. Ooh. Oh, I get the feeling somebody's going to die real quick. There's no way in to save him, is there? No, it doesn't look like it. Let's go this way then. Check our corners. No, late, Stelly boy. Yep, 
Let me in. Let me in there. They blame me for those quakers. Oh, yeah, I would probably be safe for that in the next year. I suppose I should thank you anyway. You can have the key card I left in there. Good luck finding a lifeboat. I'm going to do my silly walk now. Bye-bye. And, of course, the shit hits the fan the moment I get the key card. Get off me. No, kill me. Continue. Yeah, E3's on Tuesday as well. Uh, but I'm not on late Wednesday. I'm only on late tomorrow. I'm on early's for the rest of the week, so... Yep, late into early. Fun and games. I'm working the weekend. Oh, we've got a fair bit of this game to redo now, because I died. Like a douche. Come on. If you're going to give me access, give me access. GTA 6. Thoughts? We won't be hearing much on GTA, at least for a little while. They're too busy on Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Redemption's bound to have some DLC to go with it, so I reckon we may see Grand Theft Auto 6 as a launch title for the new consoles when they come out in a couple of years. That's my bet, anyway. When PlayStation 5 and Xbox 2, or whatever they're going to be called, come out, that's when we'll see the new GTA. New tech, new excitement new game, new awesomeness. Has Bully been confirmed as next after Red Dead though? I've only heard it was a rumour, so... Um, did I die previously? Which parts did I get through? I did pick up the key card, didn't I? My, yes, yes I did. Okay, great. Nothing else down here. Head on up the stairs. Boom. Right, let's head this way then. Why isn't it letting me through the door? It's green, it's lit. Is the game bugged? Alright, see you, Deli. Yeah, October 26 seems quite far away. But I don't I don't think we'll see GTA 6 while Red Dead 2's on the cards. I really don't. Although the Sony conference is around the corner, you never know. They might show it at the Sony booth. But I doubt it. To be perfectly honest with you, I doubt it. It, make, it makes sense to release GTA on a new console with brand new tech. It seems as though my game is bugged. Hmm. Unless I miss something glaring, let's go back and double check. Can't get those bullets on the ground, it doesn't seem like. Look up at the 
blood. Shoot the guy in the face. What have I missed this time around? Definitely got the key card, right? And I might have to reload my safe already. Because that door should be opening. Can we load? No, we're going to have to quit and then reload. Okay. Load. I want to at least get to the point in this game where you know you 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 get to play different characters, because you don't just stick as Ripley in this game. You do play as other people in the in the movie. So now we see it's red. Um, doors. Well, that sucks. Let's just double check I didn't miss anything down here again. nothing there okay so maybe we'll backtrack see if there's a uh, some way to trigger it off again so we'll backtrack this way except oh wait we can't Well, look how smooth it moved in those unpopulated areas. Pretty impressive. But it looks like we're going to have to start the whole game again. Good job we're only five minutes in, but it seems like it's bugged, so... That's not enough gameplay to really record, so we'll, we'll just start afresh. And this time I'll try really hard not to die. Okay, start again. At least we know the path.
Go, 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 go. Okay, we got the flashlight. Flame on. Ah, uh, good jump, but I'll give you a four for the landing. Okay, so now we venture this way. You see our dead buddies over here. And their dead bodies. Pick up the health kit. Let's go over here. There was something in here too. Was there not? Med kit. Okay. So we got the med kit. Blow this up. And this time I'm going to save it before I put the key card in. Should be no problems this time. I'll overwrite the old save. And this should be as simple as walking up with the key. No problems are going to face me. face too. Look. Oh, it's an epidemic. And your mate's over there. Good job he's deaf because he's got a hole in his face. If you can't hear me walking on this metal walkway, you deserve to die. Let's go creepy creepy. Creepy creepy. Oh, somebody see me. Shit, set off the alarm. That's not good. Okay, maybe I should stand up now. Go through this door. Pass card accepted. Yeah. Now here's when we meet the first alien. Job done. That's a big walkway that way. a big drop that way. I'm going this way. Down the steps.
Okay, now the frame rate's starting to chug a little bit, and so is my health. Damn it! Dead! No! Where do I continue from? Quite a way away, wasn't it? Shit. Yep, all the way back here. Great. Alright, we'll try it again. Last attempt. If not, I'll go and record somewhere, some later. Offline. Record some more. And look at that, it's crashed again. That's a shame. That is a real shame. Can't get through the door. No, you can only quick say uh, you can only do hard saves. Not quick saves. You need to go to the uh, the panels here to save. Now it seems like there's a bit of a bug. I wasn't aware of that, but it's just not letting me go through this door anymore. Okay, well, unfortunately that's cut Alien Resurrection a bit short. But never mind, there is another alien game we can try. Now it's emulated, so it could be an emulation bug. There are some games I'll have to go back and re-record on real hardware. But... Yeah, I could have quick saved via the emulator, but there's not really a chance it could work. I'll go back and redo that one, I think, on, on real hardware. I'll have to hook up my PS2, partition it, and run it through PS2. But that takes time, uh, so I'm just going to do that at the end of the video when I've recorded all the other kind of footage. So I'm collecting a list of things that I need to re-record. But this is Alien Trilogy, and I remember this cutscene being awesome back in the day. This game was quite stunning when it was released. Quite intense. Of course, nowadays it may not quite be the same, but... Okay, here we go. Quite a visual step back from uh, from Alien Resurrection. Destructible barrels, eh? Okay. Oh, 
How do I open doors? Ah, the big button. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while. And where'd that little chest burst go? Can't be far. But I got a little something for him. Where are you at? There's one on the other side of this door. Or this wall. And there's one in the damn box. Okay, and the shotgun blows up the box uh, and the red barrels. Okay, the pistol just didn't have enough gusto to do it. Now the problem is, I've got to walk around these corpses because they can damage me. And where's everyone at? Okay, this hasn't aged the best. You, Mr. Alien, you were just waiting there for me, weren't you? Naughty, naughty boy. <laughs> the pixelation. I need a battery. So I need to go all the way back, do I? We do have a run button in this one. Funnily enough, it's the right trigger. Can't shoot downhill. It's a bit of a no-no. Man. Now, did we go all the way into this room? No, we didn't, did we? A fair few face huggers in here. And nothing useful, though.
Okay. Well, that's that room cleared out. Now where to? We didn't pick up the battery, did we? So we, did we? Did we pick up a battery? Let's check this way. See if we did or we didn't. And so this is the, the way we came in. head around the perimeter oh we did pick up the battery okay so we can move down the floor continue game yeah you can tell this is an early PlayStation game it's not got a memory card save it's got a password protection So we'll just play this level for a little while and then we'll move on to the next game. This probably won't make the list, it's it's not aged well. It's still got its moments though and I can still see its appeal. But compared to Alien Resurrection, yeah, there's no way I can justify this being on the same list as, as that and Doom and some of the other games. Just die already, damn. How many bullets? There's timing involved that way. What's involved this way? A face hugger that killed me. Okay. Well, I think that's a good place to end it. I got hugged to death. Difficulty, raging terror. Well, there is memory card management as well, so. Okay, I stand corrected on that one. But that was Alien Resurrection and Alien Trilogy. As I say, I will need to do more Alien Resurrection at some point. Just to try and fix that glitch. I'll do it offline. Because, yeah. Don't want to retread the same thing over and over again on, str on stream. Excuse me. That's my beer coming up. No, we're not that far away from the E3 conference. So, let me just check and see when that's coming up. Bethesda are going to go live soon, so uh, hopefully, hopefully, we've got a schedule for it. Okay, just a moment. Okay. Right, so we got about 50 minutes left before the stream starts. I'm going to end my stream when the Bethesda stream kicks off. Because for content reasons, content ID, I don't want to do a reaction to the live conference. Um, I'll end up getting in trouble. So, uh, yeah, I might do my reaction, <laughs> my reactions afterwards. Um, okay, so has anybody got any suggestions on what to play next? Anything at all? Anything that people want to see? Anything that somebody wants to play? Okay, it seems like nobody's giving me an option. But that could be just a chat delay. You will find out soon enough. Hmm. Still no choice. 
choice. Okay, well, oh, we've done that one already. Let me just remove that one from the list. Nobody wants to go through Cho and Iki twice, except for the people that really love the game, like me. Uh, but I'm not going to do that tonight. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, let's do a good game. Let's do a good one. Now, I did Darkstalkers 3. I did Dave Mirror. I did... Uh, did a fair few games here. What we got? Any suggestions at all? Nobody? Nobody wants to see something in particular? Okay, well... In that case... As we did Doom, we shall do Final Doom. I'll probably lump this in under the Doom category on the top list, but Doom will definitely be on the list. This is essentially an add-on disc. It's just new levels using the same Doom engine, so... Um. Ravaged, but the ravagee becomes the ravager. Just die already. There we go. Barely made it out alive. I'm not going to make it out of this one, though. fell into the unknown, that's never good. But in this case it could have been worse, because it's somewhere it had already been. So that's alright. Got a few health potions around. Final Doom was based on levels made by the community for the PC. There, are, There's the Master Levels, there is the Plutonia Experiment, and there's TNT. So these, these levels are a bit more hardcore than the regular Doom levels. They showed a bit more geometry, and as a result of that, it, they add a touch more slowdown. But they were very good nonetheless. Super Shotgun. So, we don't have the blue key yet. There's a key. Yep. Where was I being hit from? From outside? Ah, oh, over there, look. Oh, you naughty boy.
Okay, so we've got a red key. Oh, I can't stay in there for long. Let's take out the long ranges first. If we can. Any more long ranges left. Oh, that's not good. and get their attention. Whoa. Yeah, that got it. That's already dead. Area clear. We've got a blue key card now, so we can return. Let's go get that shotgun first. There was a health kit there, was there not? Yeah, stim pack. And a plasma rifle. Nice. Love the plasma rifle in this game. Love it. Great weapon. I get the feeling I don't want to stick around here. Lots of barrels, lots of bad guys. Teleportation. Bullets. Armor. Something ain't good in here. A revenant. Uh, two revenants. I am so dead. Ooh. Okay. Somehow I survived that. There's a med kit in place. And before we head to the exit, anything around the back. You. Okay. Right, dun 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 dun. Nothing around the back here. Anything up here? Something up here. Health bonus. That always helps when going to the next level, though. There's a few things in here to kill me. Luckily, I got a few things to kill them. Where'd he go? There you are. Anyone else? Anyone else wants on? Anyone at all? No, are we clear? Are we clear? Are we good? Yeah, we're good. No. Bye bye, lost soul. Bye bye, asshole. Need a blue key for that one. Go through this one. Oh, Caco Demon. Oh, 
They call them caco demons because they make you caco your pants when you see one. Okay, fully loaded. No key though. I was fully expecting a key to drop. It still says I need one. This way's open. But you need a blue key to get through there, so let's go back. Let's do a bit of backtracking. Gotta be another one of these doors that can open. Need a yellow for there. This one opens, that's the way we came. Need a blue for that one. Let's go the way we came then. Let's try running all the way along here. No. Nope. That door's a no-go. So this way. There's nothing else here. So what am I missing? What am I missing in this level? There's no key behind a pillar or anything stupid, is there? No. Don't have to shoot the doors, do I? No. Where is the area I have missed? Need a blue key. Ah, there's a door here. Can't go through it. Can't go through that one. Can I go through this one? Yes, I can. Right, so. There's a little pillar here. With a mega health. And a backpack. Sweet. Okay, so that part's done. Didn't really help me though. Okay, it gave me health, but no kit. That's the way I came again. There's got to be something in here. Oh, there are more enemies in here now, so perhaps I have opened something. that done. Whoa, that's what it's done. There's the key. Oof. Now we can progress. Head it. This is not a good idea, but we're doing it anyway. Yeah. Let's stick with the rockets. Whoops, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> oh well, that's Final Doom. Final Doom is now recorded. So the Doom games are done. Huzzah, huzzah, hurrah. Hey Joe, how's it going? Well, I'm glad to hear that you enjoy Neo Geo. Neo Geo is awesome. Um, and you only really get to see how awesome Neo Geo is when they convert games to other systems. Now, so why don't we just do one of those, shall we? Shall we do a, a Neo Geo conversion to the PlayStation? Why not? Let's do... Let's do one of the early ones. Um, let's do the King of Fighters 
Nine, no, 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 let's not do 95, because 95 has no chance of being in my top 100 list. But King of the Fighters 97 has a chance. As does King, King of Fighters 98 and 99. But this is where you really see uh, the difference between Neo Geo and uh, and the other systems. Only the Sega Saturn came close to the power of a Neo Geo. Poor old PlayStation couldn't cut it with uh, with its limited amount of memory, and that will become painfully evident. So who have we got? We got Goro, Kyoko, Sanagi, Lauf Clark, Choi. Where are my boys? There's Yori. Is Terry. Now, do I want King? Yamazaki? Ooh. Decisions, decisions. Benny Maru? No, but we're going to go for Choi. Pock Choi. KOF's your favourite 2D fighter. It's one of mine. S Street Fighter 3 Third Strike is my favourite, followed by Mark of the Wolves, followed by the other Street Fighter games, and then KOF. Although I do have a soft spot for Fatal Fury Special as well. Boom. But as you can see from the PlayStation Edition, a lot of animation's been removed and a lot of sound quality's been removed. Which is kind of weird, because Neo Geo wasn't known for, for audio anyway. It was kind of kind of piss poor audio. Uh, but the PlayStation version's even slightly jankier than that. Iori's down. Adina. Hey, come on, come on. Bernaku. Yeah, this version's not bad. That's why I picked this one. Um, KOF ninety seven was was pretty pretty good for, for, the, well, for the PlayStation anyway. Um, some KOF games had a much worse fate than this one did. be dead Finish. 
Yeah, Marvel vs. Capcom, they did a they did a fair good fairly good job. And Capcom vs. SNK Pro, fantastic job. They they really, really pushed pushed out the boat for that. I don't know how they managed it to be honest. But then there are other games like X Men Children of the Atom, there's uh um X Men vs Street Fighter, there's some of the King of the Fighters games, which are well they're just they're just not really designed for PS1. Yes, Joe, absolutely. Check out Capcom vs SNK Pro on PS1. Of course, don't expect it to beat the Dreamcast edition. There's there's no way in hell it's gonna beat that, but taken in its own right, it's a, it's an exceptional game for the PlayStation. Oh Ralph. The sound you make when you vomit. Come on, leave me alone. Daddy. Loading. to the face works Teddy me damn so back to uh, Choi did I play all of these when they were first released no I didn't I played King of the Fighters 97 was the first one this one this was the first one I played and then I got um, after that I got King of the Fighters 95 on the Sega Saturn and then I got hooked, and then I wanted to play all of them. So I, uh, when the Dreamcast came out, King of the Fighters 98, 99, 2000, I bought all of those. Played all of those religiously. And then I got a Neo Geo CD. And then I bought all of the earlier KOF games for the CD. Yeah, Sega Saturn rules. Totally underrated machine. What was my first system? Well, it was a little computer back in the 80s. I was three years old and it was called a ZX Spectrum. Uh, but that's enough for KOF 97. Let's go to the next year. Let's go for the dream match. Yeah, so I had a, a ZX Spectrum back when I was a child. Great little machine. It, it was called the Spectrum because it was one of the first machines ever to have uh, more than just monochrome colors. It had seven colors available on screen from a selection of, I think it was 16 or so. Um, it had a really low resolution and it had awesome, awesome games for it. It had some great arcade versions of games, even games that were, that were released 10 years after. I mean, the thing had a Street Fighter 2 port, for example, and Smash TV. 
Smash TV was one of the last games released for it. It it it, it ran for years. But that's not my favourite machine. I'd say my favourite machines have to be either Xbox 360, Commodore Amiga, Commodore 64, or Super Nintendo, or PlayStation 1. Those are my favourites. I'm not sure what order I'd put them in. But yeah, cassette tapes. Good old days. It took three to ten minutes for a game to load. No. Come on, I want to try my combo out. Come on. Can I still do it? No. Uh, the Atari ST. Yeah, you're on the other side of the fence. I've never owned an Atari ST. I might get one one day. My favourite was the N64. I uh, wasn't a big fan of the N64. It had a couple of phenomenal games, but for the most part, the library was a bit small and a lot of the games were shit. Um, however, the, the quality games really made up for the shit. I mean, you look at Perfect Dark, you look at GoldenEye, Conquer Bad Fur Day, The Zeldas, Mario 64. You know, those games were stunning. And the Star Wars game, the, um, the what was it, uh, Shadow of the Empire when it first came out? That was breathtaking. The Wave Race, of course, was, was, was just astonishing. But there was so much garbage on that machine too. But it did have Chorok, back when Chorok was good. Remember that? Remember seeing Chorok for the first time and having your mind blown when you shot someone in the neck and the blood just gushed out. Oh, stunning. Happy days. Oh, oh, dead. Especially Chorok 2 with the uh, Cerebral Ball. I've been playing that on Xbox lately. They re-released it. Uh, Chorok 1 and 2 for Xbox. I don't know why they didn't release 3, but... 3 was my personal favourite, but Chorok 2 was the most, you know... It, it was the, the most impressive, I think, of them. Did I ever know what the official story was in Chorok? Dinosaurs and gangsters. It was based on a comic book, but I don't really know. See, what was the move? Genocide Cutter. How do I do it again? Yeah. I used to have a really good combo back in the day where I could 
basically grab somebody and then genocide cut them. trying to finish with a special but it's not working keeps blocking it she's on a kagura She still kicks my ass. Oh, it's on to Iori. Okay, well, I think we'll move on to KOF 99. I'm still not sure which one I'm going to include in my list. But um, they're all pretty decent, these ones. King of the Fighters Kyo won't be. King of the Fighters 97 won't be. Uh, 95 won't be. King of the Fighters 96 won't be. But this is a possibility. I don't know why we've got three different Kyos though. Never understood that. Let's have a Terry and a K. And then as the striker, we'll have Maxima as the striker. So KOF 99 had a striker system. Which a lot of people hated, but I really liked, so. I changed the striker, by the way. Okay, this one's got collision detection issues. Yeah, I'm not happy with this one at all. I was phasing through the enemy. You didn't do that on the Dreamcast version, that's for sure. I 
forgotten how you call in your strikers as well on this version. Yeah, but this is bad. I don't remember this being anywhere near this bad. I'm struggling to pull off any move. Even a simple fireball. But I still win somehow. Okay. I can't do any moves. The collision detection is awful. Yeah, this is bad. In fact, no, I don't know if it's going to be on the worst of list, but this isn't very enjoyable right now. Capcom didn't know what they were doing with PS1 hardware. I disagree. Um, it took them a long time to get used to it. Uh, in terms of 2D applications, anyway. They were always Saturn focused because the Saturn had so much memory. And then when they tried to drop it down to the PlayStation, it caused delays and, and lackluster games. I mean, you look at X Men vs. Street Fighter, for example. The whole point of X-Men vs. Street Fighter is that it was a tag team game and you switched it up and you could swap characters in the middle of a fight. But uh, on the PlayStation version, that all went out the window. You couldn't, you couldn't switch characters in the middle of a fight. You played as one character and then the other character came in as support and would do something like a fireball and then leave the screen again. You couldn't actually play as both characters. Um, the animation frames missed, uh, the loading times were longer because the PlayStation didn't have anywhere near as much memory as the Saturn had, especially with the Saturn's additional memory pack. I can't even do a fireball here. It just feels wrong. On every count, this feels wrong. It feels sluggish. Uh, the controls aren't coming out as I want. The collision detection's off. Nah. Nah, sc screw that. That's, that's unplayable, basically. Now let's try the Keo version as it's there. Keen of it is Now I don't remember this game. I think this may be an RPG, only in Japan. If it is, we'll skip right past it, cause ain't nobody got time for that. Especially with the E3 uh, Bethesda conference in about 10 minutes. Yeah, this is the, this is the RPG, so we're just going to skip that one over. It won't be on my list anyway, screw that game. Okay, something we can play fairly quick. What can we get the gist of fairly quick? You know what, we were talking about it a lot. So let's do... Uh, let's do Marvel vs. Capcom EX Edition. Yeah.
para pa pa para pa para pa just gotta get my uh, button set up oh we gotta do it like this really okay can we just not oh we can do it like that right okay great perfect right let's go So this is one of the few games where Capcom really did well. It's later in the PlayStation's life. As you can see, the animation, it's still got some cuts, but it still looks pretty nice. I mean, the Hulk's got some obvious cuts there, as this Venom, but most of them still look pretty good. So you see we've got partner heroes and special heroes. the animation drops considerably when you're in the game. If you look at his frames of animation now, he's only got three or four. So there's still obvious cuts in the game, but it's not too, too obvious. And it doesn't detract from the, the smooth playing of the tail. But again, one thing you'll notice is that there's only one player I can't switch between. I can only have a support guy. Much like um, X-Men vs. Street Fighter. I can't switch between two characters and have a support. Gonna have a ton poo. I'll take a ton poo any day. After a curry, I quite often do. Yeah, the support characters aren't playable. You know what? What we'll do is we'll, we'll quit this game and we'll try the other character type, see if that's different. But look at that animation, it's totally different from the title screen, uh, the character select screen to actually moving on the, on the game. You notice the animation's dropped so much, there's about three frames of animation on Hulk. Same with the walking animation as well, look at that. But uh, let's quit and let's try the other type. Because there were two types. So you compare that to the 
character screen animation is totally different. But we'll go for Ryu. And we'll go partner heroes this time. And this is the only way that you can have a tag team partner. You have to make that choice. You have to make that decision from the beginning, from the get-go. Who do I want? Captain America. In the and now you see both characters have that that name there, so we can, in theory, switch between them. Well, they're coming for the special moves anyway. But you notice, I beat Ryu already, didn't I? But he's back in the fray. Because, again... There are problems with the tag team. Yeah, the frames are a bit better, but they're still not the same as you saw on the character select screen. So yeah, you see how um, Ryu never changed to Rockman, really? Do it again. So yeah, you watch Captain America and Morrigan. They'll never switch places. But even though it's missing one of the major features of the game, you see that Captain America straight back in. There's no Morrigan. There's no Morrigan switch. You notice that they've got no health bell for the second character either. They only come in for the special attacks. Okay, so it's it's a great conversion for the limitations of the PlayStation, but it's not the best conversion at all of the game, you know. Um, Capcom versus SNK, Marvel vs. Capcom, they were all on Dreamcast and they were fantastic. The PlayStation at this point just couldn't cope with the amount of memory that games like this needed for all the animation, for all the characters. Um, it didn't want to do a Mortal Kombat where it loaded mid-match, so... They sacrificed and they, they just eliminated tag teams from tag team games. is Marvel vs. Capcom on the PS1. We are at this stage 10 seconds away from the Bethesda E3 conference. So I am going to cut my stream here people. Enjoy Bethesda, happy E3 and I'll probably be online in the next day or two for the next recording of PlayStation games. Until then, bye for now.